Clay man, Clay is upstate New York, killed neighbor after discovering girlfriend was texting him prosecutor says. New information tonight about a former National Guard sergeant accused of stabbing his neighbor to death in the town of Clay. It happened at Madison Village off Gaskin Road around 8.30 last night. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Office says 50-year-old Scott Lamica was stabbed by 44-year-old Richard Losey multiple times while Lamica was in his truck. Lamica tried to drive away but ran his truck into a tree, throwing Losey to the ground. Well, ain't this fancy. We got another one back to back. Listen, if your girlfriend is texting another guy then she's probably not quite the girlfriend that you thought her to be she might be your girlfriend to you but you are definitely not her boyfriend to her so you got it ass backwards a simp is not someone who just wants to do something nice for a woman that he's interested in a simp is someone who snatches the steering wheel from his woman while she's driving because they broke up with each other a simp is someone who stabbed his neighbor to death because essentially he came to the realization that he's in a relationship by himself. An apparent love triangle is at the center of a fatal stabbing in Clay, a prosecutor confirmed Thursday. For a love triangle to be a love triangle, one of the other angles has to want you back in some type of way. This is clearly a threes a crowd type of deal. You're in the way. Richard Lossie, 44, is accused of stabbing Scott Lamica, 50, near their homes in the Madison Village Mobile Home Park, according to the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office. Lossie had been been arrested the day before after a domestic incident with his girlfriend that stemmed from the woman texting Lamica. Prosecutor Rob Moran said Thursday, Lossie put his hands around her neck and threatened to kill her, according to a criminal complaint. He also broke the woman's phone, it said. You think roughing her up and breaking her phone is going to make her fall in line? Is going to fix your relationship? Is going to glue your broken heart back together? No, it's not. It's only going to make her want to communicate more physically. Hell, she might even send a pair of her draws to him by carrier pigeon. After getting into a sit-go on Route 57, witnesses called 911. Both the victim and suspect were taken to the hospital. Lamika died. Losi is charged with murder and is being held at the county jail. Losi found out the woman was messaging Lamika and became upset, according to court documents and Moran. When Losi asked if she had done anything with the man, she said, not yet. <laughs> According to the complaint, she gonna give him the draws, dog. GTD. The next day, Lossie confronted Lamica, and the two men argued. At some point, Lamica was inside his car, and Lossie was hanging on the side of the vehicle. Lossie stabbed him multiple times through his car window. Damn, deputies have said Lamica suffered wounds to his arm and his heart. According to the indictment, an indictment against Lossie was filed Wednesday. He's charged with second-degree murder in connection with Lamica's death. And and second degree kidnapping and criminal obstruction of breathing stemming from the prior domestic incident. I think the kidnapping charge comes from him breaking his girlfriend's phone. And I use the term girlfriend very loosely so she couldn't call police or she couldn't call for any help. When she said not yet, that took me out. That's the writing on the coochie right there. See, if you're 23 like the guy in the last story or you're 44 like the guy in this story, you can always find another girlfriend. There's infinite possibilities out there for you. But not when you do something that you can't take back, like shooting at the cops or stabbing your neighbor because she just wants him more than she wants you. You give up a piece of yourself. You give up some of your power. You give up your ability to come back from these type of situations when you fly off the handle like this. Lossie was arrested and released from custody following the domestic incident. Syracuse City Judge Felicia Pitts Davis released Lossie without needing him to pay bail. After the stabbing the next day, Lamica drove away and collided with a tree. He was a lot more hurt than he thought he was, I'm supposing. When Lamica realized the extent of his injuries, he pulled over to the Sitco gas station about a block away on Route 57 and called 911 for help. When deputies arrived, they found Lamica with multiple stab wounds. He died at the hospital, Newton said, hence the second degree murder. Lamica is remembered as a car enthusiast whose prized possession was his blue 2014 Chevrolet Corvette. He was a member of of a local Corvette club and frequented car shows across the region. He was attending a club meeting just a few hours before his death. Damn, friends told Syracuse.com. There you have it, kids. Richard Lasse. If your girl tells you to your face that she hasn't let the next man smash, not yet, then she's already gone, dog. Cut bait. Find yourself a new adventure. Tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next video.